Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video I thought we could talk about fishing. Fishing in New World has long been a very broken, and some would say a pointless trade skill. I would not say I agree with the second part, but as for the broken part, I would strongly agree. There is so much about it that no one really understands. We all have our theories and folklore surrounding it within the community, but because it doesn't work like the other trade skills, no one really knows for sure what's going on. So because I fish a lot, every one of my three alts are max fishing. So yeah, a lot. I wanted to do some testing to see if I could improve my yield, catch better fish, change anything really by adjusting my gear, trophies, and build. And after some testing and the recent changes I believe they made to the hotspots, I think I have finally found my ideal setup and I wanted to share it with you guys. This build, or whatever you want to call it, seems to have a massive effect on what you catch. And it made my fishing today pretty crazy. So first, let's look at what I ended up doing. So first, I placed one major trophy in my house in Rake Water, one basic trophy in my house in Evanscale Reach, and one minor trophy in my house in Everfall. The reason I did this was because each trophy is different, and because New World Database says fishing trophies only stack to one unique, I wanted to see if having one of each type might allow them to stack the bonuses. Then I dug through my fishing gear, gathering pieces of my Vengeful Fisherman set, as well as my Quest Reward Fishing set, putting on the pieces that had Lucky Waters 3. Because my goal here was rarer fish, not larger, even though I am aware that the larger fish do yield more experience, but I am already max fishing so I was trying to push up my rarity threshold. And of course finally I respect my attributes into focus, to a total of 300 focus. This helps with fishing in many ways, including line tension, cast distance, rolling full focus is always a good idea while fishing of course. So once I set this all up I headed out to test. My focus was mainly secret hotspots, although I did hit a couple of 2 stars. So I began fishing as usual, and after a few casts I began to notice something amazing. Do you see it? Just take a moment and watch. Every cast, I either pull in a treasure chest or a legendary fish, nothing else. No blue rare fish, no green fish, only treasure chests and legendary fish. I pulled in 15 treasure chests and 5 legendary fish from the first hotspot. So although I was excited, I wanted to be sure this wasn't a fluke on the first hotspot, so I decided to continue fishing for around an hour. And during that entire time the results never changed. Every cast was a treasure chest or a legendary fish. Soon I started thinking maybe there was a bug, and this had nothing to do with my setup. So I removed one of my trophies, the minor one, and I caught a blue fish. I put it back and used the wrong bait type, and again I caught a rare blue fish, no legendary or chest. Then I put the correct bait on once again, and the trophy I hung back up in my house. And boom, back to only chests and legendaries once again. This is what I managed to catch, and this is insane. Never before have I ever had yields like this. Now I know before you say it, treasure chests provide very minimal profit and nothing to get excited about. And I do agree. Although some of these legendary fish do sell fast and sell for a big profit. But more importantly, this would be an incredible setup for power leveling fishing. The treasure chest giving 200 experience per catch and the legendary fish giving 500. You could max your fishing in no time using this method. So let's just for fun have a look at what I did catch and if I made any coin in the process. So in total in the end, ignoring all of the flawed and regular gems because that's just tedious, I got 176 platinum bars which I sold for 8 coin per for a total of 1408 coin. 215 silver bars which I sold for 0.5 coin per which was a total of 107 coin for the stack. 200 gold bars which I sold for 1.5 coin per for 300 coins. 200 gold bars which I sold for 1.5 coin per for a total of 300 coin. 1 pristine ruby which I sold for 60 coin. 1 pristine malachite which I sold for 38 coin. I did catch 2 demonja fish which I sold for 1100 coin each for a total of 2200 coin. I probably could have gotten more had I made them into trophies but I was not wanting to include my materials here. And I caught 9 times blue blooded barbs which I sold for 700 coin per for a total of 6300 coin. Then I went and put on my chef set and yes I know this part depends on having the chef set and the cooking trophies. But really most avid fishermen in New World have these because we fish to craft food primarily. So I cooked the 5 Abbey Serpa and got 13 intellect meals with my bonus. I then sold these for 250 coin per and they sold immediately because there was none on the market for a total of 3,250 coin. Unfortunately these other legendary fish aside from the dex food fish which I am keeping for my main 
are sadly useless. They really need to give a purpose to these legendary fish aside from being tier 5 food or deco. But anyhow, the important thing here that I was excited about and wanted to highlight was that this represents a massive amount of fishing experience in these legendary fish in a very short amount of time. This wasn't possible when I leveled my fishing, that's for sure. So my total coin I made from this fishing trip was 13,663 coin, and that is being conservative. This only includes the easy big sell items that I could move quickly. The flawed, regular, and brilliant gems I didn't bother trying to sell or counting because, well, I was too lazy. So overall, this build seems pretty awesome, and I hope that it is something you guys might try out. Now, the downside here is that if you're after piranha or other high-value fish, you won't catch them at all with this build. However, if you use this exact setup, then remove bait, just cast with no bait, you will catch them in place of the legendaries along with the chests. Okay guys, I hope this helps some of you out there who are wanting to finish up your fishing quickly that you had neglected, or just want to improve your yield while fishing to see more benefits for your time. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.